Hello, everybody, and welcome to our first Sunday Q&A on the channel. This is our third live stream, and as always, I'm excited to be here. Hey, we just got our first like. First, Night Owl, welcome back, stream. Sorry if my internet's a little choppy here. So how's everybody doing today? First, Mark Belt, hello and welcome to the stream. As always, I'm excited to be here with you guys. So how's everybody doing? We have two viewers right now. Welcome everybody, and hello. Let's share this to Twitter real quick. Twitter, I'll be right back. Brian, hello. Good watching Sons of Anarchy. I was first, Mark. Yeah. Um, Night Owl, he was in a stream a second ago that I had to uh, change format on. So he actually did get the first comment. It just uh, didn't pop up. Brian, hello. We're going to get back over here where I can get back in range of Wi-Fi. Four viewers to whoever number four is. Welcome to the stream. Oh, somebody left. <laughs> But they were gone pretty quick. How's everybody doing today? Uh, you said you're watching Sons of Anarchy. It's pretty cool, man. I uh, haven't watched much of it myself, honestly. So, YouTube kept crashing. Yeah, yeah. I had some issues with it early. That's why I had to redo the stream and part of why this is a little later than it was planned to be. <clears throat> Initially, I had planned to do this at about... Uh, 4.30, but it's currently a few minutes after 5, so that didn't quite happen as quick as I was planning. How am I doing? I'm doing great. I am here with you guys. It might be a bit rough for someone your age. Yeah, no kidding. Any stops or gyms at my school? No, unfortunately, we don't have any stops or gyms. Um, we've got spawns all over the place here. But we don't have any actual spawns or, gy or um, um, spins or gyms here. No pokey stops, no gyms. We've got some that are back that way a little ways. And those are always fun to hit up right after school. But we don't have any on campus, no. I would love for there to be some. But um, we, don't. we don't. We don't have that yet. I'd love to see some added sometime. Um, yeah. I just want you guys to see what I'm seeing right now. Look back there. Let's, let's see if we can get the camera to focus. Doink. Doink. And if she'll focus, I'll show you guys the beautiful sunset that I'm taking a look at right now. Let's flip. There we go. That's what I'm seeing right now. Hello, Carla McCormick. How you doing? <laughs> hey, Mom. Yes, that is beauty indeed, Night Owl. That's what I'm looking at right now. The beautiful fall sky over Troop, Texas. Although I guess it's technically winter. Fall, winter, it's somewhere in that range. Troop doesn't really have seasons. Texas in general doesn't, but we'll just call it kind of cold. But yeah, it's a beautiful sunset. And now we're back here with me. Hi again. Let's set this down. Whoop. All right, there we go. So how's everybody doing tonight? It's exciting. I don't know if you can see the sunset. Let's flip. Whoops. Orientation is locked. All right, well, it's going to flip around a little better. Night Owl, you're doing good. I'm glad to hear that. I, I'm doing great, like I said a second ago. It's a lot of fun getting to, uh, getting to stream with all you guys, getting to talk to everybody. Um... So do you guys have any questions or comments or anything you want addressed while we're live? Um, anything maybe you want to know, thoughts on, any... Whoo, my hair looks a little 
flying around today. That's okay. It's poofy and it's curly and it's happy. Favorite food? Um, you know, probably either sushi or tamales, which is very, like, almost opposite of each other, but either sushi or tamales. Um, oh, favorite band. So I never really went into my writing. Yeah, I'll, I'll that's true. I, we kind of got off topic in the stream the other day. So, um, my writing, first thing I wrote, um, my eighth grade year, I wrote a story for, uh, my English class, it's called Murky Waters, and I'll, uh, I don't know why, I'm not linking because we're live, but that's on the channel, that was my first video. Um, and I, I wrote that, and my English teacher straight up said, you know, oh, this is too wordy, this is too long, you'll never get published with it. And my voice is echoing a little, hey Jeff, say hey, Mark Belt. Hey everybody, Shark Stains, welcome to the stream, brother. And um, she said, you'll never get published with this. It's too long. It's too wordy. It's too this. It's too that. And, um, you know, when you're in eighth grade and you're really proud of something, it kind of kind of hits you a little bit. And I still remember how bummed I was as an eighth grader when that happened. So I sent it off to a whole bunch of, um, you know, publishing places and stuff. Sunday, family day, exactly. And I'm in the stream with my fam right now. Um... So I sent it off to a bunch of stream, uh, not stream places, a bunch of publishers, and I actually got Murky Waters published in issue 019 of Sanitarium Magazine in the United Kingdom. Sunday fun day, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I was really excited when I got it published, and I'm sitting here, and I'm like, you know, oh, wow, five people in the stream, that's awesome, welcome everybody. And, you know, I got it published, and I was all excited, and it was the first th big thing I got published. Um... And then I was like, whoo, you know, hey, I'm an actual writer now. You know, this wasn't just a hobby. I got somewhere. Somebody just left. Bye. And they're back, maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm just seeing the numbers 545454 five, four, four, back and forth. And um, so that was that was exciting. And I got in touch with Bobby Moore from BMC and uh, Communications. He's an international radio DJ. And he recorded the audiobook for Murky Waters. He's got the gruff, piratey voice, and it was perfect. And it got played all over the world for a Halloween special he did a couple years ago. And I have the MP3 of that on my channel with, um, like, the book cover, as or the short story cover, as the picture that you'd be looking at. And that's currently sitting at about 250 views, which is a lot for a little channel. I was excited. Um, after that, I got that published in March of 2014, which is also when I was only 14 years old. In November, I got a call from Tammy Holder Thompson, Miss Thompson from uh, Texarkana, with, um, oh, what are they called? Dreamcatchers, which is an anthology whose proceeds benefited. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. Have to check it out. That's awesome, bro. Thank you. So after that, I got in touch with her. She got in touch with me. And I wrote a story called Safeguard of Sentinels that um, got published with them. And the following year, I was the featured author at the Fall Gathering of Authors in uh, the second, well, it was the third and fourth uh, uh, annual Dreamcatchers. And now I've been invited back as, um, actually as a judge. I may be doing that next uh, November. So that's exciting. After that, I've written a couple of other small things and I've got several projects I'm currently working on. What's my next book? Well, um, I'm not gonna give out too much information just yet because I'm not in the final stages, but it's basically this kid inherits an old house. His mom or one of his grandparents dies. He inherits this old house and you know stuff starts going awry and there's like this paranormal almost, you could call him like a warlord of sorts, warlock, excuse me, and he goes and terrorizes the town, and then he has to, um, the kid has to go back and figure out how to stop him in time before he destroys the town. Yeah, I am spoiling it a little bit. I'm not going to tell you any of the details, like I said, because I want to, you know, show you guys later. Welcome to the stream, whoever just joined. Um, 
so I'm not going to give away too much just yet, but that's pretty much what's uh, going to be happening in the story. So yeah, um, do I have any more raid videos coming? Actually, tomorrow morning you should be getting a notification for a, a HOA raid, but it like reversed. Instead of raiding to catch the HOA, I'm raiding with the HOA to catch something else. And if any of you guys watch Trainer Tips, he, um, he did a video over this raid boss a couple of weeks ago, and in his opinion, it was the hardest raid boss he's ever had to fight. Like, he had to make his whole thing about how to beating it, or how to beat it, excuse me, how to beating it. That's not quite proper English coming from a writer. I should know this. Ah! Anyways, so, um, God, that sunset's gorgeous. I can't see back there. 10 for 16 on ho -Oh. That's impressive. I am uh, 4 for 6, I believe. So I'm going to be trying to get a couple more tomorrow. And hopefully, possibly, be able to live stream that. Those battles. Maybe not the battles tomorrow, but soon, hopefully before ho -Oh goes away, I'll be able to um, stream a couple of those battles. You're 0 for O, yeah. And two for two on your alts account at 24. Like I said, very good. So you are 12 for 18 through both accounts, right, Shark Stains? 12 for 18, I think. I'm not a math major, by the way. But I think that's what that would be. So, yeah. We do have some more raid footage coming. We do have some more. Hey, yes, sir. Okay, there we go. 12 out of 18. All right. That's pretty good. That's better than I think most people do on any legendary in general. Whoo! So, um, our last couple of streams have done really well. Did you find out who the troll was? No, actually, um, I went to school Friday, and I figured, you know, they'd run up and, hey, Jeff, that was me, ha, 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 you know, like, like, screwing with me about it or whatever, or joking around or something. I have no clue who it was. Yeah, I think I'm done with it on my account personally, but I wouldn't mind helping a couple others catch it if they have troubles in their little towns, whatever. Yeah, and then that's very good to be able to help people out. That's, that's the sign of a good trainer. If you're willing to uh, give people a hand with it, that's, that's important. That's a nice thing to do. But no, I, I never could figure out who, um, who it was that did that? I have no, I've honestly have no idea. And that kills me, because I want to know. I don't want to, you know, give him attention on the channel, because if you were here yesterday, I don't remember if, uh, Night Owl, I don't think you were here yesterday. After a few minutes, he left. Good man, Shark, exactly. Good man, Shark, indeed. Very nice to see him helping out somebody in, uh, that needed a hand, or that may need a hand in the future. Um, you might go down to Night Owl's Neck of the Woods in a couple days, you know. Oh, let's drop down a little bit. See if I can focus on whoops. Camera fell, I am so sorry. Y'all still there? We're good? Okay. Let's give that a shot. Nope, camera's falling again. Okay. I'm trying to get it to where it can focus on um, like the sky in the background. Cause that looks gorgeous right now. Let's see if we can get it to do that. Nah, it's too bright. Okay, so that's fine. So, um, do you guys have any questions or thoughts? Get a phone stand, my dude. I'm, I, that's one thing I'm really um, considering getting. That's, and especially now that I'm starting to do these vlogs and doing the, um, the live streams like what you see here, I'm definitely considering getting a, um, a phone stand or a tripod for my phone or something like that. Where I'm going to be able to, you know, sit this down and not, you know, not, whoa, orientation is locked again. Okay. And not, you know, tire out my arm holding the camera for an hour and a half, two hours. Favorite legendary from every generation. Ooh, okay. Um, jeez. Now's the moment where if I call out a Pokemon from the wrong generation, I get, I get like roasted on live stream. Okay, so Gen 1 favorite legendary, Mewtwo without a doubt absolute beast. Gen 2 favorite legendary? <sighs> Jeez. I didn't have to go with Raikou. No, Entei. Entei, for sure. It's how majestic Entei looks. Even though, technically, if you were to break him down, he would be the legendary for Team Valor. 
Uh, I won't roast you if you mess up. Thank you. I'm getting my generations a little mixed up. Favorite Pokemon in Pogo? Um, favorite looking was pro is either uh, Entei or jeez. It's it's for sure. It's either Entei or um, Ho-Oh. Favorite one to battle with is Dragonite. I have a Dragonite with over 2,600 battles won. That's a really weird lighting right there. I'm going to go away from that. Um, favorite legendary from all generations. Okay, so Gen 1, Mewtwo. Gen 2, Entei. Gen 3, uh, Rayquaza was really powerful. I don't remember if he was 3 or 4. I think that was Gen 3. I know the Regis are Gen 3. Um, I just, I can't think offhand of Reggie, the Reggies look really cool. I think those are Gen 3. Those look amazing. They'll probably be like the size of Steelix when Gen 4, when Gen uh, 3 legendaries get dropped as raid bosses. Okay, Gen 4 favorite legendary. I, I can't remember those offhand, honestly. Rayquaza is my favorite. Yeah, Rayquaza is an absolute monster in the main series, and I'm hoping that they keep him at similar stats for this. Whoever just joined the stream, welcome. Um, Gen 5, Arceus, just because, I mean, it's the god Pokemon. Come on, you've got to give it its due credit. Gen 6, Rayquaza. Oh, wow, Gen 6, Rayquaza. I don't know why I just said that. Pretty sure it would be EX. Yeah, I, I would hope so. Um, I want Mega Charizard. Yeah, yeah. Mega Charizard EX where it's the black and uh, blue looks in looks amazing. I would love to see that one. Um, but yeah, mm, point, point, I agree. Mega Charizard is probably going to be one of the coolest looking Pokemon when Megas drop. Mega Dragonite looks kind of derpy in my opinion. Mega Titar, yeah, yeah. That's going to be another really good one, Shark Stains. And he's probably going to break the current CP bar. Mess up with the mess with the meta, but hey, that's cool. True, exactly. Just think about it. if Tyranitar's max CP is don't quote me on this, but it's like um 26, no, not 26, 36, 70 something, I think. Can you imagine how much bigger the megas are gonna be? Charizard is my favorite of all time, though. Yeah, and uh well you and Mystical probably would get along pretty well then, because he's got two perfect Charizards, and Charizard's his favorite Pokemon. So I could see you guys getting, <laughs> getting along pretty well. Um, Darkrai is my favorite Gen 6 Legendary, because he looks amazing. I love how they did their spin on the Grim Reaper. Typhlosion and Metagross are your favorites. Yeah, the, and uh, Metagross, actually, or Gross, however you wish to say it, he's probably going to be coming here in a little while. That's going to be pretty cool getting to see him. Me, Mystical, Omni, and Dead Guy plays all, of, plays all of Charizard. Yeah, Charizard's a great, uh, Charizard's a great Pokemon, and you guys are seeing some mega lens flares watching this, I'm sure. But Charizard's a great Pokemon to, to have and to watch, and just it's majestic when it battles. I think you guys can all agree with that. Um. So yeah, Gen Seven. I really don't know the Gen Seven Legendary. Whoops. I, I don't know those offhand well enough to list them. I know there's one that looks like a lion, and he looks really majestic. I don't know its name offhand. I couldn't tell you that if my life depended on it. But um, I'm going through, going through so many different lightings. That was close. What do you mean that was close? What was close? Not at all. The person that was driving behind me that I kind of dipped around, or, or what? Or the camera? Oh, when I dropped it, yeah. You probably tell me when I dropped the camera. Got it, though. You dropping your camera. Yeah, exactly. I do everything I can to not drop it, but sometimes it just doesn't work. So, we're, we're looking at 20 minutes. Only got a couple viewers. We had a bunch of viewers the first couple of streams. I'm... Hope I can get a few more people to drop by today before I have to wrap up. So how is um, 
How's everybody doing on uh, going towards their next level? How close are you guys to uh, to leveling up? I'm at 1.6 out of, welcome to the stream, whoever just joined. I'm at 1.6 out of 3 mil. Um, a quarter of the way. All right. Hey, you're getting there. So do you guys have any questions or anything? Like and sub. Yes, if you haven't already, please uh, like and subscribe so you know the next time I go, next time I go live. In, in these streams, I'll tend to... Um, you know, give a heads up to what I'm doing in the future. So you guys might get to see, honest opinion, the stream on the porch has been your best so far. Thank you. I, I would agree to that on also. First one was the best. <laughs> Agreed. Thank you. I'm, I may actually head back to the porch and stream a little while again. If you, So you guys kind of prefer the, the sit-down streams as opposed to walking around and stuff. Almost a mill into 37. All right. Hey, so you're making some progress too. Let me get this out of my face. Alrighty. Um, do you guys have any questions or things you want to know? Congrats. Exactly. Congrats um, to Mark for getting a mill into 37. That's Keep grinding, bro. And, you know, if you have any questions, they don't have to be related to the game. If you want to know... Um, that was a big truck just went by. But if you want to know shooting styles, if you want to know uh, information on future uploads, I'm going to set my battery down. If you want to know, you know, whatever you have that you're kind of curious about. If you could add one thing to Pokemon Go, what would you add? Add one thing. Um, If I could add one single thing to improve the game. Well, you know, um... The sunset is awesome. Take a pick for a book cover. <laughs> yeah, man, no kidding. I'll kind of... That's that. That's the back end of it right now. But if I could add one thing to Pokemon Go for... Um, four people in the stream. Welcome! How are you doing tonight? I think that I would probably add some sort of a, a way to message other players. You know, that way you can say, Hey, there's a raid over at... Um, such and such church in 30 minutes. Do you want to join us? We're going to have this many people. And you could also, you know, that way you wouldn't have to be in a messenger chat or a discord. You could message directly through the app. Now, I understand that there's a lot of people out there that might abuse that feature. But, you know, I would love to add that. Or maybe there's something at gyms that have a raid where you can, like, click on the raid and say, I'm interested, you know, or something like that. Or are you interested, yes or no? And then if you're interested, a little beaker pops up. Or not beaker, a little beam pops up. And people know that either people are at that raid or people are interested in that raid when it hatches. That way, if you're not from a location, like a raid chat system. Yes, exactly, a raid chat's exactly what I'm trying to say. That way, if if like if I were to go to um, Colorado, which is going to be happening by the end of the year. if I, When I go to Colorado... I'm not going to be in any messenger chats. I'm not going to be in any discords for Colorado. I'm just going to have to hope I can run into somebody that's doing a raid there. Um, but if there was a way that I could toss up a beacon and say, hey, I'm going to be here in 20 minutes. Like Silk Road tried to do something like that, but nobody really used it. Colorado stream, that is definitely happening. I don't know if I'll be able to stream the game because well, you guys know the issues I'm having streaming the game. So that may not be able to happen, but I will definitely stream from Colorado one way or another. Whether it's just me talking for a little while, or it's, you know, catching a legendary Pokemon in Colorado Springs. Uh, I mean, whatever it may be, you guys will get at least one or two uploads while I'm in Colorado. And there will be some awesome travel videos, <laughs> excuse me, some awesome <clears throat> travel videos coming once, um... I get back from Colorado. So yeah, that, there's definitely, by the end of the year, you'll have a couple of videos from Colorado. Probably a road trip video of how we got there. Colorado vlogs, yes. I will have Colorado vlogs. That's, that's one that will happen. I'm going to do my best to, you know, to do my duty to God and my country. You know, old scout joke there, if any of you guys are familiar with the Boy Scouts. But, um, yes, there will be vlogs from Colorado. There will be um, 
hopefully, I can't say for sure, but there will probably be some awesome catches in Colorado. If I can live stream the game by then, I will. That way you guys get like a first-hand live experience of Pokemon Go in Colorado. Um, we'll have to see how that goes, but I will vlog for sure. I'll be shooting a lot of the cinematic stuff you guys have seen in my recent videos. And yeah, there will, there will be some cinematic stuff coming out. There will be a lot of things. Welcome to the stream, whoever just joined. There will be a lot of cinematic shots. There will be a lot of mountain shots. There will be a lot of me talking, which you guys don't seem to mind too much if I talk a little bit. And I'll definitely be um, shooting out some vlogs from uh, the mile high, without a doubt. Maybe going to Denver, but I am for sure going to Colorado Springs. Mom, welcome. So how are, um, how's your homework coming? That's, she's part of the reason we're going to Colorado, by the way. She's currently working on her master's degree in business management. So, you know, claps to her, kudos to her. Um, that's actually, when we go back in the summer, that's going to be the main reason we're going to be going, is for her to walk across the stage and get her master's. She's currently sitting in Dairy Queen working on that. Shout out to Mama. Exactly. Shout out to Mama McCormick. And, um, <laughs> ex yeah, that's exactly right. Um, whoo. So, what kind of business is she trying to build? I honestly don't know too much about that. She might drop something in the comments. I really, I think it's more so that she has a backup plan once I graduate. I don't, like I said, I don't know a whole lot about her internal super sec top secret business plans. I don't really know much about those, and she may want to keep those private for the time being. I, I don't know offhand, but she's doing it to get a degree, and she's doing it so that she has she has options. What are your plans after you, after you graduate? Talking to me? Um, so I am, and this is the other reason we're going to Colorado. I'm going to be touring Colorado Tech in uh, Colorado Springs. Yee. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to be touring Colorado Springs in uh, late December, around Christmas time, hopefully. And um, I am going to be pursuing a uh, degree in forensic investigation. And hopefully I'll get on with a, uh, crime, a uh, Colorado State crime lab. I got to go have a good one. All right, Mark. I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by. But I'm hoping to um, get on with a crime lab in Colorado, like one of their state labs. She walks in June to receive bachelor's that was completed in September. Yes, because she was like that close to being able to walk this summer. But had a couple things that took a little longer than we were expecting. I'll see you later, Mark. Bye. Um, so, yeah. I'll be going to college probably. This is this is not guaranteed. I have other colleges I'm looking at, but my top option right now is Colorado Tech. And, uh, you know, in Colorado Springs, once I graduate from there, I'll be able to um, work with Colorado State PD, Colorado Troopers possibly, and get on with the crime lab there to help, you know, bring, um, what is the word I'm looking for? To help bring peace and, um, I'm drawing a blank on the word. Anyways, to help bring peace to families that have, you know, they've lost a brother or a son or a, a wife or something like that. Because, you know, if I can use my career, my harmony, yes, that, that's an example, yes. Closure. That's what I was looking for. To bring closure to people. Closure is the word I was looking for. To help bring closure to a, yep, see their mom dropped down in the chat. It's closure. It's exactly the word I was looking for. Because um, I want to try to bring closure to people if I can. To be able to say, you know, hey, this is what happened. This is why it happened. And now we can kind of bring, yeah, <laughs> thanks mom, exactly. To help bring um, closure to families. To help them feel where they can start to, you know, heal what's broken and stuff and emotionally. And that's part of why I want to get into forensics. I want to be able to put people to justice that need to be put to justice and to help people that deserve to be helped. 
Yep. So now that I've given a 10-minute speech on why I want to go into forensics, <laughs> um, you got a big heart, dude. Thank you. I just figure, you know, if I can help someone, then my job's complete. And ultimately, that's what I want to do. I want to help people in any way that I can. And if that means spending three months on one case just to, you know, figure out what happened to one person or to put one person behind bars, then I'll gladly do it. I want to bring closure to people and I want to help people. And this career would give me that option. And forensics has a lot of really interesting uh, scientific parts to it that are very, they're hands-on and they're, for, they're always changing. And that would be the ideal career for me. You know, because it's never the same thing. You can walk, well, big truck going by. You can walk into work every day for 20 years and have something new to look at every time. It's not always, you know, working the same nine to five. You've got other options. You've got all kinds of things. Oops, I hit the camera. You've got all kinds of things that you can do in this career, in this field. And by pursuing this, I'll always have something new to walk into and I'll always be able to help people. So yeah, I'm going to pursue uh, forensics. Which I'm, I'm really excited about. Getting to, getting to have those opportunities, getting to meet those people and help those people. And um, Colorado Tech actually has a lot of um, like work study programs and uh, hands-on training opportunities that will, that will be able to help me make the connections I need where I'm working alongside um, I'm working alongside the organizations that I would end up um, working for once I graduate with either a bachelor's or a master's depending on what program I go into. Yep. So that is my plan once I graduate. I know it's not the norm, you know, most people, uh, nursing's a really big profession, but most of my patients won't, um, won't have to worry about taking their blood pressure or their temperature because, you know, as a forensic investigator, you don't usually have to deal with live patients. Most of yours are, you know, already dead, so you're able to, um, you know, I don't really know where I was going with that. Uh, cause I'm like, I'm saying it and then I'm sitting here and I'm like, that sounded really dark and it did, but I want to be able to, like I said, be able to help people, be able to, um, take someone's pain and then take the evidence surrounding something and, um, and help people in any way that I'm able to. And like I said, I feel that this, um, would be, I'm going to. I'm going to sit down. My, knee, my legs are starting to get tired. I've been standing for a while. And I feel that this would be a very good way to, um, to help people. Because I would have the ability to sit down and talk and, you know, investigate and everything and, and bring closure to families that are hurting. So that got a lot deeper than I intended for it to. But, um... Hopefully that kind of puts a little bit of insight into why I'm doing what I'm doing. Any other questions that you guys have? Or comments, concerns, thoughts? Um, yeah, yeah, that's about how I am too right now. Like I'm not, I'm not too sure. Whoops, I dropped it again. I, I do need to get a stand, you're right. That's like the third time I've nearly dropped this today. But I would like to um, help as many people as I can. Favorite car and favorite car brand. Um, I, I drive an 82 Bronco. Mom, if she's still in the stream, she drives a 92 Bronco. So I think I'd have to go with Ford. Because Ford Broncos are generally pretty strong and pretty durable vehicles. So I'd, I'd have to say Ford. That being said, I'm not dissing Chevy in any way. They've got a lot of nice trucks and stuff and cars. If you're a car person, they've got some nice cars. But honestly, I'm more of a, I had, a, I had something on my hand. I'm more of a truck kind of person.
get a little more vroom vroom when you hit the gas. So, we only have two people in the stream, but I will gladly talk to you two as long as you want. Here we go. Any other questions? Night Owl? Um, Shark, if you're still in here. Night Owl, you're here. Awesome. Okay. Do you have any more questions or thoughts on the stream or on um, anything in general that you're, you're wondering about? I'm thinking, hmm, yeah, I'm thinking too. I'm trying to, um, I don't want to just, you know, sit here and waste an hour with you guys, but, you know, if you got any questions with the game or anything else that's going on, we do have one viewer, I am assuming, that is, pro oh, future videos. Yes, future vids is a big question. I was kind of waiting for one of you guys to comment about that. And welcome to the stream, whoever just joined. But uh, future videos, I have a far-fetched frenzy video, and I know I've talked about this one a lot. The far-fetched video is coming soon. Um, there's a train in the background, you can probably hear it. The train runs like right behind the school, and he's incredibly loud in the background. But I will probably be uploading that by the end of the week. I've got some more editing and stuff to do with that one. It's a lot of split-screen gameplay footage. Um, there is that, uh, raid boss, uh, footage that I was talking about, and that edited video will be coming out by, um, I'll probably upload that tomorrow morning while, um, tomorrow morning, uh, before school. I've got a lot of, that is a very, can you guys hear that train in the background, or is it just loud here? Because, um, if you guys can hear it, then I'll just wait a second and let him go by. Yeah, okay, you can hear him too. All right, I'm sorry about that. Um, I'll just give him a second to go by, and then we'll uh, keep keep on going with the stream. But yeah, if you have any... Oh, this is not a flattering angle. Let's go back up here. There we go. No worries. All right, thank you. Uh, I think that's a good shot of us. So if... Um, I've got some more equipment that I may be getting, and there's no guarantees about this. But I might be adding some very new and very different, yep, normal loud. Yeah, mom's from Troops, so she's aware with how loud um, the train tends to get. And there's also, now there's an announcer back at one of the fields that is, ow, shoulder, that hurt. There's also an announcer at one of the fields that's talking, which you, I don't know if you guys can hear him or not. But um, he's kind of loud too, so you may be able to hear that, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah. Future vids, the far-fetched video is coming out, the raid boss is coming out. Hey, what kind of equipment? <sighs> All right, so I'd plan to reveal this in a future live stream, but since there's only two people here, I think I can go ahead and sneak this one in. One, I am going to have the, um, the iPhone tripod. I'm going to try to pick one of those up later this week. May start be able, be able to start shooting on that, and then I can just have it set here and talk. Instead of having to have all these weird, whoop, we're up and we're down and we're left and we're right and we're here and we're there. Instead of doing that, I can just set it down right about there and let it roll and then talk and talk and talk and talk. And not have to worry about having, you know, a shaky camera or whatever like we have right now. And I can also get a lot of really nice shots. Like time lapses are one big thing that I'm going to be adding in. Is There's going to be a lot of time lapses in some of these next videos. Maybe some little, some timely music in the background. Plans on getting a professional camera. Um, that's one of those things that I've thought about and I'm not sure. Dizzy, yeah. <laughs> I kind of did that on purpose just to point out the reason that we might need a actual um, a tripod or something to set this on. So, professional camera, I've looked at them. The channel, honestly, it's not quite big enough to warrant something of that magnitude. Not like super expensive. Yeah, I'm not going to get like a, a DSLR super camera or something anytime soon. I've thought about picking up a... I, my hand is over the camera. I've thought about picking up like a professional... Um, hello. Somebody just like drove by super slow. But I've thought about getting a professional camera. And then maybe do like the live streams on this and then all the videos on the camera. I've really considered that. As of right now, I don't know. But... But, um, we m are looking at getting some aerial shots. 
Now this isn't confirmed. There's no guarantee that this is going to happen. So, you know, I'm not going to say 100% that this is going to happen because this is a big investment for the channel. I could see you taking some good shots. Thank you. Thank you. I've been trying to incorporate some good shots with the iPhone into the videos. And just to kind of give a sneak peek at what an actual camera might be able to do. Now, as far as those aerial shots that I'm talking about, I can't get in the air myself. But if I had a camera that had, I don't know, a propeller maybe, that was, uh, there is a big moth, that was remote control flying around, then I might be able to get some cool aerial shots. So there is a chance... We have to ask Santa. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But a drone, yes, that's what I was beating around the bush at. I might be adding some drone shots in the near future. Mama, yeah. I'm 17 and I'm still getting jokes like I'm 9, but that's okay. We all love her. So, yes, drone shots are um, a possibility. We've been looking at some professional-style drones and... Those actually aren't out of our budget. Mothman. What? Oh, the moth went by. <laughs> no, I don't think it was quite that big. But um, there's, there's a chance that we will, we will be adding a drone to our um, the stuff that we have at our disposal. Not guaranteed. Like I said, we're going to have to look into it a lot more. The tripod, I can almost guarantee you that's going to happen. That's just a few dollars, and it would help tremendously because my arm gets tired after almost an hour of streaming, and I was it was it was practically dead after the two-hour stream we did. But um, there, yeah, there is a chance that we'll be adding a drone to the lineup, and I might do an, a big video about when it is confirmed. I might do a big video about you know. New equipment coming to uh, Jeff Fields McCormick channel soon. But for those of you that are in the stream, all mom and night owl, you two, you've got kind of a sneak peek at what might be coming. So when you get that notification that I'm live with uh, new equipment, you probably know what it is. There's a small drone that are like three or 500 and they can follow you around. It's neat. I know. And those are some that I've, I've, I've been looking at some that are like that, some of those little drones. Um, and we'll have to, and like I said, we're going to have to look into it and we're going to have to see, but I've always wanted to shoot on a drone. I've always wanted to get those like high angle swoop down shots in the videos and, uh, DJI drones. Okay. I'm going to have to look those up once we, uh, once we wrap up the stream, I'm going to go look, go, uh, Google those. I am stuttering more than I should be. That was three letters with the word drones behind it. DJI drones. I'm going to have to look them up. And not affiliated or any way sponsored by DJI drones or similar accessories. Look for the small ones. All right. Um, okay, and uh, that's in a, in a stream probably in a couple of days. I'm going to um, officially announce that we're considering a drone. No guarantees on whether or not we're going to pick one up. But I will mention that there are some chances that we get new footage, new content and stuff. And all that other good stuff that comes with big new machinery that can do things that I can't do. Because I am not going to get up and do that. I'll do research too. Thank you. And um, anything that you find about that, please drop in the comments of one of the videos. That way I can find it really easy. And uh, from there we can talk back and forth a little more. And um, work on that and see what's what and everything. I dropped it again. Okay. I'm a research on my iPad. Alrighty. So what are you watching this on a laptop or a phone right now? And you've got two, cause if you've got two and you're doing it right now, that we might actually might be able to figure out some of the options that we have tonight. There's a shadow in my face, a phone. Okay. Yeah. So you've, so you're going to look it up while we're, while we're on the stream tonight. Cause if so, that'd be a lot of help. It'd be great. Yes. Okay, thank you, thank you. Um, and like I said, with the, this is not a good angle. I tried this a second ago and it does not help at all. Let's go back up here. This looks a little, a little nicer. DJI Spark, okay. 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look into that and see the ramifications associated and everything that it takes to run it. And we might be adding that to the stream. Might do an unboxing live. Portable, that's a big that's important if it's portable or not. That's good. I know uh, Best Buy's got a couple and Walmart's got a couple that I was looking at the other day. Um so those are options too. And like I said, I'm gonna have to, you know, get in touch with the people that use them and figure out how well they work and what they work for, if they're Wi-Fi compatible, if they come with a controller, if there's an app, this, that, this, that, all the other good stuff. And we'll see. But um like the thing that you saw, the um the thing that you saw, that's very vague. They are portable. Okay, that's good, that's good. That's that's a big uh plus in the direction of picking one up but the sunset that you saw earlier would look a lot cooler in a drone shot and I could have worked the drone without having to end the stream that's part of why I didn't want to end the stream was um, that's why I didn't get any video of that was I didn't want to end the stream and I can always get video from the stream but it won't be quite as high of quality but you guys know how all that works so um, yeah they're loud there's like people yelling in the background, running around. I don't know what they're doing, but it is a um, it's exciting getting to be able to like be like, hey, I've got uh, potentially have new video. I am drawing a blank. I am sorry. This has been a long day. Drawing. Okay, so you ever been talking for a while, and then you just poof, and you don't know what you're saying. Well, I just had one of those moments. Yeah, sorry. Um, but I've got new content coming. The far-fetched video should be out by the end of the week. Um, and the way I'm going to schedule brain fart, yes, that is exactly, poof, exactly what just happened. Um, so, like I said, I, I uh, kind of lost my train of thought there a second ago. Um, I've got a lot of new content that's coming. I've got a lot of, um, hey, Someone just joined. Welcome to the stream. If you, if you drop something down in the comments, I'll be able to say hi to whoever you are. Um, but yeah, whoever... Um, there is new stuff coming to the channel. There's a lot of new content that I've, I'm editing right now. There's a lot of new information and stuff that I'm trying to convey. There's um, that raid battle video. Hey, it's me again, Rebel Redneck. Welcome to the stream. Please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. That helps a lot in the uh, the stats of the video and stuff. So I'm only going to be on for a few minutes longer. As you can see out that way, it is like pitch black. Old age sucks. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Ripe old age of 17. Um, hey, we just got our fourth like. Thank you, Rebel Redneck. And what, thanks for dropping by, too. So I'm not. I'm probably gonna go for 12 minutes and cut this off in an hour if I can manage to talk for another 12 minutes. But we've got the far-fetched video coming out, and that's exciting. I've got a lot of far-fetched footage, far-fetched footage for a far-fetched frenzy. <laughs> Gets get home safe. I will. I will. Actually, I'm probably gonna head down to Dairy Queen. Head, whoa, down that way to Dairy Queen, and um. Which gained a fifth like. Thank you to whoever just gave it a thumbs up. But, um, yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll try to get home safe. Well, home. Dairy Queen. <laughs> um, Mom, if you're in the stream, do you know what time it is offhand? I do not have a clock on this screen. I'm assuming it's like 6 probably by now. 5.45, 6 o'clock. 6.59, okay. And, all right. That shouldn't be a problem talking. Yeah, that's true. I talk a lot. All right, I see it's 6 o'clock. I see the timestamp on y'all's comments. Oh, wait, that's my time. Yeah, you're an hour ahead of me, so it's 6 on the dot right now. So I can go for another 10 or 15 minutes if you guys want to stick around for that long. Um, 6. Yep, 6 on the dot, exactly. So I'm, and like I said, I love having this ability to live stream because before... I would edit, 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 and drop as many videos as I could. I will. Rebel Redneck, thank you very much, bro. I love seeing uh, dedicated fans jumping down in the stream or down in the comments. Um, 
So it's like I said, it's a very big and very exciting thing to get to actually like talk to you guys one on one. And I dropped, I am, one of these days I'm going to stop dropping the camera and this is going to be a magnificent day. But until then, well, until then you're just going to see these little jump clips of me dropping it. Alright, there we go. Now I can sit down and not have to worry about holding it. Yep, okay. So, if you guys have any more questions or comments, concerns, thoughts, uh, please let me know. And I'll gladly answer as many of those as I can. And I'll, um, like I said, the drone is a possibility. I'm out of ideas. Yeah, same here. I'm kind of rambling at this point. Um, the far-fetched video, like I said, I've got a, I've got a ton of far-fetched videos right now. I probably have about 15 or 20 recordings with him, seriously. So that's one I'm definitely going to have to, um, finish up and get that out. I've got all the footage together. I just don't have it like like chopped all together. So we'll have to see. My hair is flying around. Sorry about that. So we'll have to see what uh, comes out of that. And it may just be a conglomeration of a whole bunch of uh, far-fetched being caught and stuff and critical. And oh, oh, that's another thing. Sorry, I got really excited, I got really excited right there. That's another thing that will be coming to the stream. I criticaled a 89% ho -oh yesterday. On the last ball, you're echoing. Oh, yeah, when I made my first YouTube vid on my phone channel, drop my phone and shattered. Ooh, well, that's why I've got mine sitting up right now. Am I echoing, guys? Can you hear an echo from where I'm sitting? As if so, I can move and uh, get somewhere that's not echoing. I gotta go stay safe. All right, Night Owl, I'll catch you later. Thanks for sticking around, bro. But yeah, is it is it echoing for you guys? Okay, that's good. Because I didn't know if... I knew it was echoing um, down on the far side of campus, and that's part of why I came down here. And I've got to stay relatively close so I can still kind of piggyback the Wi-Fi. All right, we have zero viewers. Are you guys still here? Because I don't know. I don't see anybody. If there's no one in chat, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. But if we still got somebody here, I'm, I'm cool with staying for a few more minutes if you guys want to stick around. National Geographic says brightest moon tonight. I am. Okay, you guys are still here. That's good. Because it's showing that I have zero viewers for some reason. That may just be a little glitch in the system. I don't know. I know a uh, night owl dipped and then it hit zero for a second. So you're here. That's good. Okay. Also, um, the brightest moon in a long time. One viewer. Welcome whoever just came. Um, the brightest moon in a long time is going to be popping up here in a little while. I don't think I can see it from here. Um, you know what, let's go see, actually, if you guys want. Let's go see if we can find that moon. If it's on if it's on this side of the building, I'll try to show that to you. Now, if it's on the other side of the building, I don't know if I'll be able to get a good shot of it, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. It is not on this side of the building. So you, wanna, you guys want to see if we can find the moon? That's a really ironic phrase because of how massive the giant floating rock that orbits us is. Well, let's go find it. That'll give us something to do in stream instead of just sit here and stutter for the next 10 minutes. Let's go find the moon. And honestly, how many times in a day can you say, let's go find the moon? <laughs> That's a comment that needs to be on a t-shirt. Let's go find the moon. I actually have no idea which direction this would be. Because it's dark that way. It's dark back there. The sky's dark, so it's probably going to be back behind me. But I gotta go around the building to find what's behind me. Which is kind of odd, but with the way the campus is set up, you gotta go around. Which is alright, we'll go around. It'll give us a couple minutes. So, um, five likes. We got a couple people watching. I am blinded by that little light right there. That thing is super bright. Hello, we gained a couple viewers. Welcome to the stream, you guys. How is everybody doing tonight? I. Oh, nice. I'm not going to read that on chat, but well played. And as you say that, somebody dips out of chat. Okay, so the moon is playing hide and seek right now and winning. Which is great for it, but unfortunately means that we can't see it on the stream. You can see the highway behind me. And you can see me, which is a good thing. But I'm about to get blinded out again. Time to go super white. 
dumb moon yet. Exactly. I'd love to be able to show that it's like all bright and out and everything, but I don't see it right now, which is kind of unfortunate. Okay, wow. You know, sometimes when you're out camping or you're out looking at the stars, it's hard to find a certain star. I've never had trouble finding the moon. That's a new one on me. So the moon, apparently, is the one thing in the night sky that even though it may be the biggest thing, and I am blinded again by that light, even though it may be the biggest thing, it is not always apparent where he is located. And there's a camera flare for all you guys watching. <sighs> Oh, moon, where art thou? See, this would be the perfect way to shoot one of those lost footage films. Just like take an iPhone and walk around and talk, and then all of a sudden, boom, and you're gone. That'd be great. I'm, okay. Shark Stains, welcome back. We are currently in search of the moon. Supposed, according to National Geographic, the moon tonight is supposed to be one of the biggest it has ever been, viewing-wise, and we cannot find it. Like, it's so big that it's not here. Now I hear the echo. I'm going away from that location. But, um, shark stains. I don't know if you guys can see me very well or not, but do you have any questions or, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, do you have any questions or thoughts on what should be on the channel or things that you like in videos you want to see a little more of on this channel because I am open for suggestions if you have any and I do not see the moon guys which is bizarre but sure sounds good I don't know I mean you know you do you bro <clears throat> but I do not see the moon which is which like I said that's not something you say every day you know you say a lot of things, you say hi, you say bye, you say hello, you say good morning, you say happy Hanukkah, you say Feliz Navidad. You don't say, I can't find the moon. That's not typically something that is said. There's a lot of cars in this parking lot, I wonder what everybody's doing here. But you don't usually say, where's the moon? Like we do, because, I mean, what happened to being normal? <laughs> but that's why you're here, if you were normal, you, you probably wouldn't be watching my stream at I just try to support everyone out there, putting yourself out like you do, live streaming whether you do Q and A stream, Pokemon, or play other games. People will watch it. Exactly, that's what I'm hoping. Like I would love, and I am bouncing around quite a bit. I, at the end of the day, I really want people to watch and enjoy my content. You know, be interactive within the community, be interactive in the comment section, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, all that other fun stuff. Because I love having the ability to do something that I enjoy, like I really enjoy editing. I love editing, I love filming, it's been a passion for a long time. And I also, I like seeing you guys enjoy what I produce. Let's sling this over my shoulder a little better, jacket's starting to slip. And so by having the ability to, since you are such a good writer, maybe you could have brainstorming videos and stuff like that where people interact with you on what to write. That's a really good idea. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, I would love to do that. Sit down at a desk and call it like brainstorming session number one and then at the end of like eight or nine sessions, start on a story. And I, I mean, maybe even make that story into a video. And, um, you know, have like a little mini movie shot on the iPhone or shot on the, the, the drone or something and kind of work everything from there. That, that'd be great. And that'd be a great way for everybody to interact. And then I would get um, some good content to produce. And everybody would have fun with that. Because you guys would have a, literally have a say in what is shot for the channel. So yeah, I'm going to have to brainstorm to do, I'm going to have to brainstorm how to do that a little bit. But... And I'm going through so many different lightings, I have no idea how good it is here. But, um, also, if you guys have been on the channel for a while, you'll remember this spot right here is where I did one of my vlogs earlier. Exactly, interacting with the viewers is what gets you more viewers. Yes, precisely. So if there was a way that I could get, you know, eight or nine vlogs, or not vlogs, um, 
eight or nine things, and then at the end of this, be able to produce like a five or ten minute, whoop, trash can fell over. I want to pick this trash can up real quick, you know, do a good turn daily and all that good stuff. But, um, you know, if there's a way that I can connect with you guys more, I'm definitely down to do it. So, yeah, that's something that I'm definitely going to consider and something that I would love to have the ability to do. Do a few live streams, get some ideas, get everybody's idea. Good deed for the day. Yeah, exactly. Do a good deed for the day, you know. Help people out. And give everybody a hand with what they need and what they're going to do. And, you know, go out and help people. And that's not just a, like, do a good turn daily is the scouting slogan. But that doesn't mean that only scouts can do it. Everybody can help in one way or another. And... I figure those two trash cans back there, the wind knocked them over. So rather than to leave them there and let some animal get into them and, you know, cause a big mess for whoever has to clean it, I'm going to help out and, you know, pick them up. Make it a little easier on the next guy. Um, and that blinded me out. Wow, that really blinded me. I am so sorry. Okay, let's try to, there we go. But if there's a way to help somebody and you can do it, and do it. Give give somebody a hand. Make make somebody's day a little easier for them. Um, and yeah, I'm definitely down to do it live stream, where a brainstorming session, do three or four brainstorm sessions, and then at the end of those, you know, write a script and go out for three or four days. And I may go three or four days without content, but go out for three or four days and shoot this video, this week long video, and, or movie or short film, whatever you guys consider a short movie. I call it a short film, but you get the point. And go out after a few days of filming it. You know the song by Van Zant, Help Somebody? Not offhand, no. Have I ever gotten a fight? Yes, but I would prefer not to get into that on a live stream. But yes, I have got into a few. And um, those people haven't meshed with me since. So we don't really have to worry about that anymore. But, uh, no, I don't know that song off Hand Shark. I can't, it sounds familiar, but I can't think of, like, the lyrics or anything. Whoever just joined, welcome. Dab Whip. Bots. Welcome. <laughs> Simon, or Simone, I think was your name. It went by pretty quick. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in the, in the uh, streams before. It's a country song. All right, um, I might have to look that up. I think you have me on Twitter. Send me a link, um, and I'll, I'll check it out after the stream. But Simone B., I believe that was your name. How are you doing? And welcome, as always. He may have just left. I'm not sure. I hope I said his name right. I'd feel really crappy if somebody, like, joined the stream, and they were all happy, and they're like, hey, how you doing, and everything, and then I said their name wrong, and they left. I would feel really bad about that. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to sit down tonight. I've got a little bit of English homework because I am still a student here. So i got a little bit of English homework i got to take care of. But um, I w I'm going to sit down and figure out how um, everything works, how that live stream could work, and then get together with a couple of student filmers here in Troop. And um, on my free time, you know, maybe do a couple live streams, get some brainstorms from you, excuse me, from you guys and then get together with with the community here and with my viewers and we could make a video together that's something that i would love to do get everybody's ideas and everybody's thoughts everybody's opinions and uh sit down and storyboard it shark stains you know the song don't tread on me by real dibbles jr <laughs> so that's something that i would consider and i would definitely be, be down to do. Alrighty, well, we are at 64 and a half minutes, just over an hour, which is, an, is a good time, long time of streaming, a lot of fun. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here in a second. But before I go, do you guys have any last minute questions or thoughts that you want to um, address?
as I will probably not be going live tomorrow. I may be live Tuesday or Wednesday. One of those two days I will do another live stream and you should see a notification for that. About a half hour before I go live, you should get a little ding saying, hey, Jeff Fields McCormick is going live in 30. Have you ever went hunting? I have not went hunting, no. Always wanted to, but that's one thing I've never done, unfortunately, as I've never been hunting. I've went fishing a few times. I've went camping hundreds of times with scouts, but no, I've never been hunting. Fishing, yes, I've fished uh, several times out at the lake. Um, there's a couple of wildlife reserves that have like the catch and release. I've fished at those. I've been fishing in creeks in uh, Illinois and Colorado, or not Colorado, Illinois and Oklahoma. That's a lot of fun. Uh, you guys can't see me because I'm in the shadows. There's my face. Welcome whoever just popped in. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Helps out the channel quite a bit. I'm just going to walk around and talk with you guys for a few minutes before we wrap up. So who else in the stream right now? Rebel Redneck, I know you're here. Hello, there's my face again. Rebel Redneck, I know you're in the stream. Who else is in here? So we've got at least two viewers according to, um, wow, you can, my, my hand is in front of my, there we go. So we got at least two viewers. So Shark Stains and Rebel Redneck, I'm guessing. What state do you live in? I am in East Texas right now. I'm in Texas. I live in the piney woods of East Texas. I don't know, you may be able to see some of them back there, maybe. Anyways, there's a bunch of pine trees back there. I don't know if you could see those or not. But yes, I live in the piney woods of, that is a cool camera flare, right? Where is it? Whoop, there it goes. So that's a cool camera flare, lens flare. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So, whoo, it's been a lot of fun streaming with you guys tonight. I say we hit... We get a, wow, I am blinded. You see that light right there? That is blinding to live streams because I look like really white right here right now. I mean, I'm white anyways, but I look like super pasty when I walk past those things. So like I said, thank you all for stopping by. That looks cool. I was gonna, like the sun's right there or something. That looks really cool. Thank you all for stopping by. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here in a second unless you guys have any last minute comments you want to make, which I'll gladly answer anything you've got. And if you don't have any more anything, so you're not live tomorrow. Um, I, I don't think I'll be live tomorrow. No, I might. But if I am, it's only going to be for a few quick minutes. I'm not going to be able to sit down and do an hour stream because I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow after school. And who knows how long that takes. And then we're going to go out and hit a couple of ho raids. And see what, what goes on from there. So if I do, it's going to be in the evening. And it's only going to be for a like 20 minute or 30 minute stream. Okay, you said, Mom, you said you had a question. What's up? I kind of skipped past your comment there for a second. You're breaking up. Yeah, I'm getting back towards the Wi-Fi. Hold on. I went around the building. Yes, I know what it's saying. Yep. Welcome. Someone just joined the stream again. Welcome back. I am getting closer to where we have a better connection. Hopefully you guys can hear me a little better now. Are we good here? Because I didn't realize I was breaking up. If I would known that, I wouldn't have went all the way over there to get some different shots. Okay. We're back in the place we were at earlier. How's everybody doing here? Is the, is the quality of the video a little better here? Gotta go. All right, Rebel Redneck, I will talk to you later. Good night, and thanks for dropping by. All right, Mom, what question did you have? I want to wrap this up in a few minutes. Probably, probably going to go another minute if there's no other questions to hit an even 70, and then we're going to cut out. So like I said, to everybody that dropped by and stopped by the stream, said, hey, asked your, wow, I've got hair in my face, that said hi, that asked your questions, that interacted with the stream that did this that did that that did this my, my hair is all over the place I'm not gonna worry about it to everybody that interacted with the stream. Thank you um Night Owl, Shark Stains, Mom, Mark, Rebel Redneck, all you guys Thanks for dropping by Whoever just joined the stream welcome and how are you guys doing tonight? 
Do you have any questions or comments you want answered? Just out of curiosity here. I wait. Do you have Facebook? I do. I have a personal Facebook for my friends, and I also have a professional Facebook that's for my writing. Um, both are Jeff Fields McCormick. If you want to go get my writer's page a thumbs up, that'd be great. Bradley, hello, welcome. How are you doing tonight? I'm assuming Bradley Adams is my guest. You say I'm Bradley. The only Bradley I know is Bradley Adams. So I'm assuming you're Wade's little brother. Okay, bye. Good. All right. See you later, Mark. Bradley, how are you doing tonight? How's everything in your neck of the woods? Adams, yep. That's what I was saying, Bradley Adams. Yeah. So you're doing good. All right. Do you have any questions while we're uh, live tonight? Any comments, thoughts, something you want to see added to the stream or added to the videos? I'm open for your ideas if you've got any. So I love getting to interact with you guys and getting to hear your, your comments and your thoughts and stuff and then kind of work them into the videos and into the vlogs. So do you have anything that you want to know or anything that you're working on? And I really just want to stop, behind, stop by and say hey. Alright, well hi, and uh, like I said, thanks for dropping by. Please like the stream if you don't mind, just to kind of bump our numbers up a little bit. And um, I guess we'll go ahead and wrap this up here in a second. If there's no other uh, questions from anybody out there watching. Um, and if you guys haven't, please uh, like and subscribe. That always helps. It helps the numbers of the stream. It helps the numbers on the channel. All right, man. Stay safe. All right. I'll catch you later, Bradley. Thanks for dropping by. So, without further ado, thank you all for stopping by. No questions. All right. So, everybody, thank you for stopping by. Thanks for taking a little while to... Um, my hair is everywhere. The wind is going woo with my hair right now. And I am sorry. Video is better. All right. That's good. Yeah, I, I was back over by um, Ms. Thomas's room over in that little... Where they had all those yearbooks and... The quality wasn't quite as good as I was hoping. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream and head back to Dairy Queen. I get to start editing a little bit. I've got some English homework from Stiff. We're currently reading Dante's Inferno, and I've got to go ahead and wrap all that up. So, to everybody watching, thank you. To everybody that liked, commented, or subscribed today, thank you. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Good night. And goodbye.